folks, we got to talk. Here's the deal. I was going through some YouTube analytics on my channel last night and I came upon this statistic that 86% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So I got a challenge for you guys. If you're not subscribed, subscribe right here in the corner of this video. If you're not going to do that, comment below and tell me why I suck. That's my challenge for you. Now let's get on to the video. Zeus, come here, bud. What are you doing? Look at him go. Oh, gosh, dang it, he's excited. Oh. Did you find something to eat? Was it dead or was it trash? Hey, what's going on, YouTubes? We got a challenge to achieve. Before we get into that challenge, make sure you go and like and subscribe right here in the corner of this video. All right, here's the skinny guys. Sobering Restorations has challenged me to a cold start challenge. Now, I kind of missed the real cold spell. Last week and earlier this week, it was like negative 20s, negative 30s, negative 10s. And today it's like five degrees right now, maybe three. So, you know, it's pretty warm today. At least it feels warm, honestly, compared to the severe temperatures of last week. So, we have a cold start challenge. Now, Trailblazer, I started it this morning to go to work because it's my daily driver. So, Trailblazer SS, we cold started it this morning. Let me drop that clip right here now. Good morning. We're going to start out the first cold start with the Trailblazer SS. It is, I don't know, a little after 6 o'clock this morning. Got a little late start and we missed the cold spell. But as you guys can see, it is about negative one degrees this morning. So I think it's still almost cold enough for a cold start. So this has been sitting overnight um, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start this sucker up. So. Another beautiful thing about the Trailblazer SS is that the blower motor has ceased to be working. So yeah, no freaking heat all last week when it was negative 27, negative 15, negative 10, negative 20. Yeah, it was freaking cold. But you can even see that the Trailblazer says it's negative. There's the negative one outside and yeah, we've got No freaking heat, so that's cool. But at least the uh, cold start was a success, so I'm pretty happy about that, I guess. Let's go ahead and let this thing warm up. We'll get to the rest of the cold starts through work. All right, guys, you saw the ease of the cold start from the modern Trailblazer SS, which, you know, that's pretty lame. Daily driver, drive it every day. Nobody likes a cold start on something you drive every day, right? So here's the skinny. The freaking bad Chad machine. I was working on that earlier today and that thing's running. It's warm. So that's not going to be a fair cold start to you guys. The diesel, I've got summer fuel in it. So that fuel is gelled because summer fuel gels at 14 degrees or 15 degrees or I don't know, something like that. Anyway, it's like five degrees, maybe three degrees right now. So diesel in the Ford F-250 is gelled, so I'm not going to go start that because then I'm going to wax up my fuel system and clog it up, and that's no fun. 240, that doesn't run yet. Can't start that. The uh, Chevy in the barn, uh, we're not going to start that because that's going to be a whole nother video. And Model A is just a body. There's no frame or anything on there. The buggy is blowed up. Can't start that. The Impala is not on the property, so I can't start that. So what do we have left to start? Any freaking guesses? <laughs> yeah. We have a 1952 Farmall Super M tractor with loader attachment. Yeah, that's right. 
It is a four cylinder engine carbureted. It is a six volt system. We have not had the farm all running in a couple weeks. I think two weeks. Whenever I pulled the uh, Bad Chad Square into the barn, and I won't say pulled because I lifted it up with the bucket and freaking pushed that thing into the barn because she was not happy. She's happy now though, idols all on her own. Let's give this thing a start for you guys. All right, let's give the old Bad Chad machine a freaking start. Minty, all right? I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna put my foot on the freaking gas. Yeah. Freaking minty machine right here. Idles all, it's an, all on its own. This thing's been sitting in the pasture for I don't know freaking how long. This sucker's idling on its own on the original fuel system. Yeah, gosh dang it. Just a minty freaking machine. 76 GMC C15. GMC, not a Chevy. Yeah, that's right. Not everybody can have a GMC square body. Complete with your freaking awesome toolbox, red carpet. Anyway, that was not a cold start. But I just wanted to prove to you guys that, you know, Bad Chad Square runs and idles. I guess I didn't show you that it drove, but it does. The old Super M has been uh, sitting outside for two weeks. Yeah, outside for two weeks. It's like five degrees, three degrees today. Carbureted, six volt system. I don't know what the battery is like in it. And gosh, you know, <laughs> I just don't have a lot of freaking anticipation um, going on with this here tractor. Don't know if she's going to kick over, but that's going to be the real major cold start of today's video. Yeah. That's right. We're going to cold start this freaking tractor. I don't know how many of you guys are into tractors. I'm not really into tractors, I guess, but, you know, this one's on my property. I use it. I won't even say I use it often, but I use it, I guess. And we're going to start this bad thing. I don't know. You guys think it'll start? Comment below. Think it'll start or not? I don't know. I think it will. If the battery's not dead and if the choke works and if there's enough fuel in it and whatever. This thing has a pretty gnarly power steering leak. This is a starter. That's just your contactor right there. It's pulled by a lever. Got your clutch here. And uh, reverse is over and up and first gear is down. So don't forget to do that. Otherwise you'll be going the wrong direction compared to a vehicle does have a block heater as you can see is not plugged in there are no cords in sight so yeah that's um mia i guess but uh i don't know what do you think guys should we fire this thing over i don't even know if it'll turn over two weeks outside you know that's a that's a hefty hibernation in chile north dakota during the coldest week or two of the year Zeus buddy, Zeus buddy. Is it gonna start? You tell me. Yeah, he don't care. He's got better stuff to deal with than starting a freaking tractor on a five degree day. But we don't, that's what we're here to do. My camera says I've been rambling on for eight minutes now, so is that enough hype? I'm not really sure. Let's start, try to start this thing. No battery charger, no ether, no nothing. Let's just go up. Raw footage. Let's try to start this thing. How many camera angles do you guys want? You want like one, two, three? I could probably scurvy up three cameras. Nah, not gonna. Let's go for it. Ignition on, full choke, gonna need it, give it about half throttle, 
see if she pops. <laughs> guys check that sucker out she's still on full choke there we got the ignition for our six volt here we got our choke rod and here we got our start rod see the choke goes all the way down here to the car and then there we got our starter rod there that just engages the starter motor That was a pretty hard start. Honestly though, that was honestly the hardest start that I've ever had with this tractor. Um, it's never skipped like that when it started before. It's always just taken right off. Yeah, that that's no lie. This is honestly the hardest start I've ever had with my freaking 1952 Farmall Super Amp. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. I'm glad that that was caught on footage and you guys got to experience that with me. That was not staged. Do not claim so, but if you do, comment that below. Let this tractor warm up a little bit. Yeah, that's a cold start video. We got the freaking Bad Chad machine started up. Not a cold start. Trailblazer SS, you saw that sucker cold start in the beginning of the video, which is not exciting because that's a daily driver and it's new, so nobody likes to see new stuff start. I don't know why, it's not that cool, I guess. But old carbureted stuff, like this here 1952 Farmall Super M, that's cool. I mean, I'm not into it, but somebody's gotta be. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week on the Mickelson Racing Channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe right here in the corner of this video. Zeus, buddy.